So I have a busy one today because I'm carrying out a deep clean on this BMW 3 Series, but it's also good for me because it gives me chance to show you guys my current pressure washer. And that's because it's this, the Arva P70. Now, for those of you who follow my channel, you probably realise by now that I have been using Arvas for over 12 months, and they've all been brilliant in their own way. But there is something in particular about this one which is giving me a sneaky feeling that they may not have just invented a great machine here, they may have invented one of the very best. The Arva Evolution P70. This powerhouse of a pressure washer is a dream come true for any budding car cleaner. With its powerful motor and adjustable settings, you can tackle any cleaning job with ease. And its sleek design and easy to use features will make your cleaning effortless. And it all sounds very impressive, so let's see what else it can offer. So this Arva Evolution P70 is a lot smarter than you think, and I wanna take you through some of the key features of this machine. So for starters, this one comes with an eight meter steel reinforced hose, but it's also on a hose reel as well, but it has two functions. It can either be a swivel one, or you can lock it in place to stop it moving around. And the Evolution P70 has taken it one step further because they've allowed another locking feature for the hose reel, which means that you can't unravel it during transportation. There are also feet that have been designed to dig into the ground to reduce the risk of toppling over. But at 23 kilograms, the odds of that ever happening are slim to none. So moving to the back with the P80, we had quite a chunky cable and it wasn't quite working for me because it was getting quite difficult to reel it up. So with the P70, they've made it slightly thinner and now that means you can easily unravel it. And the good news doesn't stop there. It comes with a foam cannon and a beautifully designed stubby gun as standard within the price. This is another little quirky feature that I love. You can clip in any of your tools and accessories into these four holes here. So it does give you a few more options and it even has a little tray for you to put your brushes and your applicator pads. It's not quite big enough to hold your mobile phone, but that would have made an amazing accessory because that's one thing most detailers and car cleaners have in common. Whenever they're washing their cars, they're always on the Instagram and they're always on their phones. Having a phone holder would be a brilliant idea. So on paper, the P70 is ticking all the right boxes, but there may be a few things to consider before we get too excited as you will see later in the video. But now it's time to put it to the test. So normally when you see these types of videos on YouTube, you often get one person sharing their own opinions on their own channel, which is totally fine. There is nothing wrong with that. But I understand that by doing this, you often come under scrutiny from a number of viewers. So I decided to take it upon myself to invite somebody who takes no prisoners with reviews. And that's where this chap comes in. This is Adrian. He's a professional mobile car detailer and he runs the Supercharged Llama detailing channel on YouTube. And for those of you who don't know much about Adrian, he's one of the toughest critics to ever put any product in front of. His content is brilliant and brutal and that's why I invited him to take part in this video today. Because I feel it's important you get to see more opinions than just mine. After giving the P70 a full inspection, Adrian was eager to get testing and I don't think he anticipated how much of a surprise this would be. It already feels like a serious piece of kit, this, doesn't it? It is a serious piece of kit, that's why. The reach is quite nice to be standing back and not being absolutely hammered by it. It's really nicely balanced. There's bear in mind that's got the hose on the end. When you hold it in your hand, it doesn't feel like the end's tipping down or that yeah. the back's trying to get away from it, like pull it down. It just feels really no, nicely balanced. Really from it. No, no. It was so far so good for the Arva, but now we wanted to compare both the standard foam cannon that comes with the machine and the pro cannon that you can buy separately. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice feature by the way. That, yeah. doing that collar up. You know, you know it's in when you know you can do the collar up, which is nice. Now that's what I like, isn't it? That's what you expect from the foam gun. Yeah, it's so different. That's what it should be like, isn't it? Adrian was loving the Pro Cannon so much, he decided to give his own van a foam. Well, the previous one, by doing that rear quarter 
and the back, I got down to about a third of the bottle left. Here there's two thirds left and I've done more and it's produced a thicker foam. Thicker foam doesn't necessarily mean better foam, but this, <laughs> like you've used less product for a long way. So the PIR here would be massively different. The construction of it is like a proper, proper foam lance. So the standard cannon wasn't quite as good as he hoped due to the consumption, but don't let that put you off just yet because Arva have more party pieces up their sleeve. Like all other pressure washers, this one comes with an extendable lance and it's a huge benefit for those hard to reach areas. The nozzle has three settings, which is more than enough for most people. And they even include a turbo nozzle for those heavy duty cleaning jobs. And the stubby gun gives you quick and effortless changes between the accessories. And speaking of stubby guns, it's time to get some more feedback. God, okay. You mentioned it earlier, there's so much more kickback when the uh, big lance isn't counterbalancing that. The short stubby gun really does have its uses, especially for getting under the wheel arches and cleaning areas like the door shuts. But it doesn't mean I would ditch the longer lance altogether, because the longer the lance, the less body movement is required. And you can get around the car a lot faster too. But if you feel the extendable lance is too weighty, then they even go one step further with a non-extendable lance. But then if you wanted an even longer reach for higher areas, they also have more options. So it looks like Arva are catering for everybody's needs. Car cleaning isn't an enjoyable task for everybody, but I can honestly say that I'm happier using the Arva P70 because of all the little things that make your life easier. For example, the horizontal lance holder, the quick connect and the extendable lance just take everything to the next level. And considering this is a fairly hefty bit of kit, it isn't that difficult to get in and out of another vehicle. So you won't be overstretching your body, therefore reducing the risk of any injury. Arva also offers several warranties depending on the pressure washer, ranging from 10 to 20 years. And in a few weeks time, I will be joined by an Arva representative who's going to show us how to service and look after your machines to keep that warranty intact. But it's now time to get Adrian's verdict and give it a score out of five. I think it's gotta be a four. I can't have a five because uh, I don't think that hose, the stock hose is long enough for such a premium machine. I think it needs to be at least 15 meters really 12 15 you've got to think the other context these could be using for like cleaning patios and stuff yeah 20 meter hose could be really useful you don't have to move the machine around as much this is the top of the line the most premium machine they've got i think having the, uh, you, shipping it with this probably isn't good enough i can understand including that on the cheaper models yeah. it, it gives you the ability to have a foam cannon but this rips through the product too quickly whereas this i did that BMW and I went around the lower half of my van and I've still got there's about an inch and a bit left in the yeah. bottom of that which is that's really impressive but apart from that I can't actually think of anything that you'd want to change on this I mean I was pulling that when I was around the front of my van rinsing off and it, it didn't budge I knew I was at the end of the hose but I, it, this didn't didn't topple over and I've had other pressure washers that would have felt fallen exactly. uh, flat on their face by that point so a four out of five stars, I couldn't agree more. I think it's a good result for the P70. And it gets me thinking though, because Arva are a relatively new brand, if they're this good now, can you only imagine how good they're gonna be over the next few years time? However, if you feel that this pressure washer is too big or too overwhelming for you because of the sheer power, then you can opt for a smaller one completely. And they go all the way down to the Arva P40, which is a very lightweight, portable machine, and it still has all the same accessories that you would expect to find with these larger models. And I will put links to every single product featured in today's video, but I'm also gonna list a few other of my top rated pressure washers from Arva. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you later, bye-bye.